Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn. Getting ready to do some stuff. Let's see, what do we got today? Today, today, today. Um, Growing the city, that's what we got. Let's see. Are they still pumping? Yeah, they're still pumping. Good, so we still got that going. Everything else is looking good. I'm thinking... I'm thinking the next field, the next uh, the next crop. What is our next crop that? Uh, let's see, we've got the hydroponics. So I can either do the algae in the hydroponics, or we can build the food factory. Now, the food factory does take electricity... And then we have a coffee brewery. I think we need the food factory for the corn, the eggplant, and the algae. Okay, so yeah, so we really need to do this one first. So let's go ahead, unlock that. And let's just kind of see here. Now, I've been using all this for industrial stuff, so I don't know if I want to put our food deal over there. Um, and I'm looking at, I'm trying to decide where, where would be the best place to put this guy. If I put it up here, it could run off of, it could run off of water wheels during the wet season. And it's only 120 HP. How much do we get out of a, we get 50 out of a wheel, don't we? Yeah, we get 50. Okay, so, I mean, it's a little bit far away by doing it like that. I could do that, or we could put it down here. Mm. I mean, we are going to get flow over here. We're going to get flow over there. I could put it down here. That would give me, you know what, that would give me room... And it's somewhat close to the other crops, but uh, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Part of me says to do it up here. But if I do it up here, then they have to haul everything up here, then haul everything back. And that's the big thing is all of my storage right now is here in the middle. So I'm trying to, trying to cut back on some of, some of that. Um... If I moved these two guys, I could relocate it over here. And then we would have all of this together. Hmm. I mean, that is a possibility. I mean, how much how much extra do we have right now? Oh, we only have 30 extra. Well, there's no beavers in the wheels. Hold on. Get all the get all my wheels over here spinning. Uh, we're missing one wheel, one beaver. Where's it at? Oh, we don't, ha oh, we don't have a beaver. Um, that's actually an issue. That's a problem. Okay, so we need to increase our population once again. That's what we need to do first. Okay, so let me focus on that. Then we'll get to the, the factory. And we'll do all that other stuff. I wish I could stack the, uh... I wish I could stack those. That'd be so nice to be able to stack on top of that and put them, put a second row up there. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Where to put another set of these guys? You know what we could do? Is I could put another row here and that would give me another six here and another six there and that would give me a little bit more trying to decide on whether or not I want to put in a path right here. That's what I'm looking at. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave berries on both sides, but I really think I'm probably going to turn this into like a cornfield. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. Cornfield over there, maybe even over here. I don't know. We'll see. 
We shall see, we shall see. All right, that's gone. Let me go ahead and put that path in right there. Go down to the housing. So let's start. Do we want to go straight big with it? I mean, if we do three, that's going to increase. That'll increase it by a bit. You know what? Let's just do six. There we go. We got six of them. Well, we'll have six of them. Let me let me let me rephrase that. We'll have six of them. Okay, so I did that, and now let's see. What do we want to do? I want to do things. Um. Hmm. You know, I'm just kind of sitting here looking at stuff. Hold on here. Hold on. Hold on. Go down into this. Give me. Give me this guy. Ah, yeah, that's a little bit too big. It's bigger than I was thinking it was going to be. Um, let me see. Let me see. How far does that cover? That covers everyone in the back. Yeah, but it doesn't go further than that, does it? What about this guy? That covers half. I was trying to see if I could put in some rooftop terraces over here to help with some of the uh, some of the roof bonus stuff, but I don't know. I don't know how high. To be honest with you, I'm not happy with our housing setup. I feel like. I feel like I need to tear out all the old housing and replace it with. The row housing. It's kind of what I feel like. But at the same time, we've got stuff like this. And I'm like, I could put a rooftop terrace right here. And they could access it and have fun and do things. And uh. You know what? Why don't we do this? Why don't we... Yeah, because we're, we're trying to up our well-being as well as our population. So why don't I do this with it? We're going to we're going to change this up a little bit here. I'm going to put in a ladder. That's going to bring me up two spots right here so that we're at the base of this. I can put in more housing over here cuz we need yeah, we need more housing. We've got some homeless. So let me do that. Let me let me ramp it up here. Now, as far as over here goes, though, well, we can't, if I connect it like that, we can't go around. Hmm. Okay, so I have two options here. I can either path over the house and we can connect these two, or I can just leave it, leave it separated. But what I'm thinking is we'll come in here, rooftop terrace, put one there, one here, one there. Put our path over here, put our path right there. We'll start with that. And you know what, just in case I do do something over here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna put the two short ones there. And we're gonna do that. That's how we're gonna start it. Okay, we're going to let them build that. That will give us a bonus for rooftop terraces. That will give us our housing. We've got our uh, extra baby beavers coming in. Now we can start looking towards doing, doing the other stuff. So here is the next thing. So do I want to... We could, we could technically clean this up a little bit. And we can make this a straight shot. And I could put power over here. And then that would give us. And then I could put the thing. You know what? We could put it right here. I could have food farms. Uh, I might have to redo some storage. Of course, then again, I could put new storage over here. And leave that storage as it is. You know what? I think that's kind of what I'm looking at doing. Why don't we? Why don't we do that? So let's get our dynamite out.
Actually, no, 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 no. Knock that section out, yes. Yep, we'll knock this little piece out right here. And then what I'm thinking is we're gonna we're gonna move this over. So yeah, let's let's do that. How much? Oh yeah, we've got plenty of dynamite. Uh, we just we gotta wait for them to get all this built over here first. Give them just a second. Everything should be looking good though. I do believe. Okay, we're good there. They are placing the dynamite. Excellent. So let's come back in here, grab this guy, grab that. And you know what? I am going to, I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to delete that as well. I know that kind of, that cuts us off a little bit here, but that's okay. Let's do that. Let's get in our two deals here. Hmm. All right, yeah, let's let's do let's do a three three dams right there. That's what we'll do. And then power wheels. Uh how many planks do we got? Yeah. Let's go ahead and unlock the big ones. So I'd have to yeah, we'd have to dynamite that out, and then that road would be kind of in jeopardy as well. Um, let's do this first. Let me see. Big wheels or little wheels? I don't know. We could do the little wheels. That would give us, I mean, 40, 40 HP. I don't know how fast the stream goes over here, though. If I did three of those, and then we filled this in with levees, that would give us a straight shot. Let's do it like this. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll build it in like that. Let's see, we needed that factory right here, the food factory. We will build it right there. We will connect that. Okay. That should work. All right, so where are we at with things? We are 12 days on the drought, 4.9 thousand of water. Okay, so far I'm liking it. All right, so they're down here into the deeper part of the water. Oh, yeah, it was asked early, earlier, well, I say earlier today, it might have been yesterday, but um, comment about why I don't have, why I'm building the pumps in shallow areas instead of building them out in the deep areas. Those were just temporary pumps to get stuff going. As soon as we, uh, as soon as I have everything situated, and our next round of food going and everything like that. I do plan on dynamiting this and making bigger, better uh, reservoirs. I hate having like the little ledges down here. I hate having that. 
I'd much rather have it squared off a little bit more industrial looking, I guess. It, it less less natural looking, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to deepen it out. We're going to make them better. All that type of stuff. This was just to get us past that one really bad drought, which I believe our water tanks are going to more than enough handle that, I believe. Yeah, because we are... Okay, so yeah, because all of this is now dry. And we have that. So technically, I can start doing that right now. All I'd have to do is pop these out, run some dynamite down here, and go from there. Which, do we have a way down in here? I don't think we do. Do, do we? No, they would have to drop it from up top. Oh, no, no, no. We do have a way to do it. We have a way right there. Do we have a way down onto this one? No. No, we do not. Okay, so let me... How do I want to do that? Um... I've got so many ladders everywhere. They're just they're, they're just constantly in places. I'm just going to do that. That way we have a connection over here. I'm not. I thought about putting it over here and running another road, but then I'm like, we have a road here and a road there. No, nah. let's just do the one road. Just do the one. Okay, so we're waiting on this to get built. We need gears and we need some more metal blocks. Uh, let's see, where are we at on our metal blocks? Yeah, we got 102. We're still good. We are still good, and we still have more scrap metal up here to grab, so that's good as well. I also want to deepen this stuff out over here, too. Great. All right, so let's see. I'm going to... I think we're going to start with a corn ration and we're going to look at putting in a farm as soon as, like I said, as soon as we get some extra beavers, cause we have, we have no workers right now. So even if I do build it, we're not going to have anyone to man it, to work it, to get stuff done. Come on, y'all get that thing built. Well, the first one's built. Now for the second one. Okay, come back out here. First thing I want done is I want that dynamited. Yep. Nine days left on the drought. How much dynamite? 144. Yeah, we got enough. We most certainly do have enough. Let's see. That is, yeah, that's the canola oil. That's more canola. Now, I would like to get a better tank for our stuff, but I think we also need uh, better storage for our, for our stuff down here, too, though. I'm just looking at what we got down here. Hmm. Yeah, let me put this in here. Let me put that as... Oh, hold on. I grabbed the wrong one. I meant for a small warehouse. There we go. Grab that one and set it to... Dandelions. That will work there. And then we'll do this.
And that should be more than enough to get. That'll be like 120 dandelions. So that should be more than enough. Since we have just a tiny little field here. I'm going to work on trying to get a little bit more grown and all that kind of stuff. But for right now, we just need a little bit. All right, go ahead, detonate that. All of that is out. They can reach down here. So now what I'd like to do is I am going to delete each one of these. And I hate doing it like this, but this is the only way we can do it. Do that. Come back in here. And we're just going to blow a channel straight down. So let's see those. That's too high. So this will be our third one. And of course, we might even draw a, draw a deal out here and connect it to that main body as well. Which we'll probably do at some point. But for now, let's just blast this down a couple rows. Yeah, so everyone's basically employed. We've got 15 babies. Three point seven thousand water, we've got seven days. So let me see where are we at. Okay, so the only one we have left pumping is those two. Okay. We go ahead and detonate that and uh oh you are hold on. I'm gonna open I'm gonna open you all the way up. I'm going to let all that water out. That way it can fill in here. They can pump. That way they can keep that going for a little bit longer. Cannot be built at the bottom. Oh, that's the bottom of the map right there. Oh. Okay, so yeah, we can't go any deeper than that. Uh, I did not realize that was the bottom of the map. But yeah, we have reached the bottom. Okay, well, that's uh, that's interesting to know. So, but we'll do that. And I think for right now, let's see, how do I want to do this? I could. I could just do that. Or we could bring it all the way down to the bottom. You know what, let's just do it like that for right now. Let's do it like that. Put all that dynamite down there. And that will help us for the next drought. We still don't have a whole lot of cassava. Even with the bigger fields. I mean, they've got it up there, but yeah, they're... 
even the uh, even the fermented one we don't have a whole lot of. I don't know. Maybe they just process it faster. Two hours versus what? Ah, so it does. Yes, so it's two hours versus three. Along with a, a lesser yield as well. Okay, okay, I got gotcha. you. I see what we got's going on. Kind of, sort of. Three point three thousand water in just under five days. So, but doing stuff like this little, this little uh, blasting area right here, this little retention pond thing, whatever you want to call it, my reservoir, that will that will give us so much extra water. Even if it's just a little little ways down, that will give so much extra. You know what, now that I think about it, I probably should have just put two sets of ladders in here because we're going to drop down again. Oh well, it'll be fine. Wood, we have plenty of. Very nice, that looks good. Yep. Detonate that down, and yes, I am going to, like I said, I should have done a ladder here. I wasn't thinking about the rest of it. So, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Technically, I could just destroy that and put a ladder too, but, eh. We'll do it like this. So we'll do that and then we'll do the exact same thing. Add in another layer. All right. These pumps still going? No, they dried up, didn't they? Yes, they did. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to make that little that little pump area deeper as well. We most certainly are. You know what? Cover that whole floor with one layer. We'll probably run out of dynamite before they can do that, but that's okay. Like I said, one step at a time. This is also a reason why I didn't do it earlier, because I was waiting on them to build up some extra dynamite. Because I knew once I started blasting that I would start blasting. All right, guys. Well, we've got just under three days. We've got 2.7 thousand water left, so that's not looking too bad. I think uh, I think we'll make it through this drought without a problem. Uh, the next one that comes in, we're going to have extra, extra water storage, at least in the ground, so that we can pump for longer. That should make a big difference as well. And I'll probably end up putting in a couple more of these large, uh, large water tanks just to make sure that we can store everything that we pump out so that we don't lose any, any water to evaporation. So it's a process. We'll get it done. But that is going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free, sh free, <laughs> bleh, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. 
And guys, I'd like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.